Welcome to ELT Gallery, a channel for language learning, language learning and teaching technology, and linguistics. You are still following a series of videos on English sound system, and our topic now is the juicy vowel. Now let's start. In this video, we are going to talk about the features and the production of the juicy vowel on the U vowel in the word juicy. And then we are going to practice the vowel in words. And then we'll see how the vowel in pairs. And finally, we'll have a practice on the vowel in sentences. Now, let's start with the features. The vowel U, the first vowel in juicy, is an upper high back vowel. The symbol in Merriam-Webster dictionary is this. This is a symbol if you check in a, in a website or in a or cell phone. This is a symbol in Merriam-Webster dictionary. And then this vowel is produced by raising the back part of the tongue to the upper high tongue position. So this is the highest position of the tongue in the back. And then the production is accompanied by a lip rounding. So when we produce this vowel, our lips are rounded. The vowel is represented by several characters or several letters or letter combination. And the first is the letter combination uh, U here, the letter U. And we have a consonant and we have the letter E again, like an abuse, accuse, reviews, amuse, reduce, resume, cute, perfume. Where C here is not the letter R. So we have the letter U here, and then we have the letter S, the consonant S, and then we have E. The same here, you have the letter U and the letter S and the letter Z. And here with the same end. Here in re reduce or reduce, we have the letter U, and then we have the consonant C and the letter E here. So if we have this letter combination, we can expect that the pronunciation of this letter U is like here. We have abuse, accuse, refuse, amuse, and reduce. Here the vowel is produced with a tense jaw muscles and also tongue muscles. So when we produce this vowel, our tongue and jaw muscles are tense. And then we also have the letter OO like in cool, pool, mood, room, coos, spoon, noodle. Here we have cool. Our tongue and jaw muscles are tense, full, mood, room, goose, spoon, noodle. But we have to remember that sound representation is not simple. We have food and good. The spelling on the writing of these two words are almost the same, except if we have F over here and we have G over here, the letter J over here. Uh, but the pronunciation of food here is with the, this uh, vowel, it tends food, whereas here we just have good, food, good. So these are different, although the spelling or the letter representation is more or less the same. Now let's have the practice. Renew. Review. Amuse. Rescue. Reduce. Abuse. Reduce. Remove, resume. Okay, uh, we have the last word here is resume. This is a verb. We also have a noun with the same spelling, but the pronunciation is a resume, which is from French. Now let's continue with the pairs of words. Wood, 
word. Turn, turn. Cool, curl. Pull, pull. Proof, proof. Root, root. Root, root. Mood, mood. Lose, lose. In number one, two, three here, we have the contrast between wood over here and wood. So we see here that wood, wood, two and ten. We have the a uh sound on the right column words, and we have the u uh sound on the left column words. And then we have pool and pole, uh, contrast between u and o. Then we have proof and proof. Here we have the uh, difference between here, the proof, proof, the vowel here is longer because of the influence of the voice consonant of here. The same case with root and root. So we have the same vowel, but they are pronounced a little different because of the difference in the consonant after the vowel. Here we have voiced root and we have the voiceless root, root and root. The same case with the wood, uh, wood and mood over here. And then in number nine, we have the contrast between loose and loose. The two words have the same vowel, but they are different, but they are different because of the consonant after it. We have loose, loose. Now let's have a practice on the sentences. The pool is near the school. The new shoes look cool. Few students refused the tin. He was confused with the refusal. The man in the blue suit is Luke. Sue was amused to hear his humors. His rude attitudes proves his intolerance. The new students study in the afternoon. Many people tune to the music channel. Well, that's all our practice on the juicy vowel. Thank you. See you in the next video.